I'm hooked. I'm hooked and I cannot stop and I will not stop. Hi, hey, hello. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Yeah, yeah, bub, yeah, bub. And why, why? Why do I do this? Today's video is all about the inheritance games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Now, this is a captivating series. Yes, yes it is. It's filled with secrets and puzzles and games and twists and everything. It's, just, it's got so many things. So it follows Avery Grams, a seemingly ordinary teenager who well, she inherits a very vast fortune from the billionaire Tobias Hawthorne. But there is a catch. She doesn't know why she was chosen. Thrown into a world of wealth and riddles and high stakes intrigue, she must navigate the dangerous dynamics of the Hawthorne family. Who by the way, are determined to unravel the mystery of their patriarch's, well, weird decision. Over the series, Avery uncovers shocking secrets, forms alliances, and faces life-threatening challenges, all while trying to solve the ultimate puzzle, why her? So I've tried to keep it all as spoiler free as well humanly possible while still talking about the books. Mostly I think it's just my excitement throughout so enjoy. So um, inheritance game. Before I start um, for some reason I thought this was a smutty series so I was kind of putting it off uh, as in putting off not reading it quite yet. Um, this is, there's no smart in this, so I don't know where I got that idea from, but okay. O okay. Maybe in the other books? Who the hell knows? <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, so, Avery. Um, she may not have the best of luck in life as, uh, as so far in life as is. As is? <laughs> she may not have the best luck in life so far in life um she lives with her sister because her mother died and her sister took her in uh as a legal guardian uh because she's slightly older and able to do that so they share a father but they share a father but have different mums uh and the dad he's not dead but he's 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 not present let's say that so um she's looked after by her sister however uh her sister doesn't have the best taste in men and her boyfriend who kind of just moves in in the beginning of the book uh well he's a terrible dude so Avery kind of goes and lives in her car because seems like a good idea anyway one day some person lawyer person possibly shows up at school because apparently they've been sending letters to Avery and her sister was Libby uh, and Libby's just kind of I think that's her sister name anyway Libby her sister Avery's sister <laughs> has just been taking the letters as like spam mail because like they don't seem real to her for some reason so she's just like ah spam throwing them away apparently not spam so avery avery <laughs> um she, well she's set to inherit a lot of money um so there's this reading of the will uh and before they can actually do the reading of the will they need to have all the people present and avery is the last piece of the puzzle as is so yeah it's taken them some time to get her to the i don't know estate mansion place hot hawthorne place so it turns out basically this guy um, he he pretty much left all his like relatives um, inheritance 
less yeah they didn't really get a lot um and not his like 46 billion or whatever it was no that's left to avery so who the hell is avery to all these people we don't know that's kind of a mystery that's going on throughout the book um so it's kind of <laughs> so this family apparently the the person who died i forget his name damn it he liked to set like puzzles and games and um, basically tasks for his family to solve and yeah there were lots of things going on so <laughs> basically the games in the book is basically them trying to figure out why because they got clues everybody of all of them got clues um but yeah it's it's a weird premise but i kind of liked it i kind of really really liked it also i kind of want to go to this house i don't want to really be in avery's position because she kind of gets shot at at one point and that i'm not a fan of that however this house this house has like weird creepy sneak away uh, hidden compartments, rooms, and puzzle pieces. This room, this room, this house is bloody amazing, and I want to go there and please make it real because hello. Honestly, I would love to go to this house. Um, so apparently, every year this dude he he added on something to the house, so it's huge it has at least like five libraries or something like that i mean hello hello <laughs> honestly i was hooked there was such an easy read as well so ooh, um i'm so excited to pick up the next one so i'm gonna go do that the games continues in the second book the hawthorne legacy so <laughs> Yeah, the games really does continue um, because we don't really get much of an answer or many answers. There's so many questions that you want to ask from the first book um, and we don't get really get a lot of answers. You get a few, but not a whole lot. Uh, so the, <laughs> the questions continue to grow and... Uh, multiply that's the word i was looking for more things happen so many things happen so like um all the hawthorne brothers all of them have different fathers and all of them have a first name that's usually more used as a surname so they kind of figure out that uh their father's uh surname is their first name <laughs> which is just a weird thing to name a child from the dad or the sperm donor let's call them that uh surname because <laughs> really the the hawthorne brothers dads are more like sperm donors let's be honest because they're not in their lives do they actually all know of their children not sure about that one either anyway um so many more things happen this book seems more focused on parentage uh, for the hawthorne brothers but also for avery so like is the dad she thought was her dad the actually her dad who knows who knows um so many things happen so many things i'm so hooked on this series but also it's making me question where I got the It's a Smutty series from. Because there's no smut. There may be some potential murder and all that kind of things. But there's no smut. So where did I get that from? Honestly. Anyway, I am hooked. I, I'm going to start book three as soon as I finish this. Um, because I am so excited. <sighs> oh, so many things, so many things. So, this book. 
do you want to be in here? Little baby. So, the final gambit. So, I'll say this first before I get into the book, but because chess and the chess move, the Queen's Gambit, is mentioned so many times, uh, now I want to read that book and watch that. Is it a movie or a series? One of them. I want to watch the adaptation and read the book. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that. Right. <laughs> the puzzles continue. The riddles. Everything. I mean, the way Jennifer Lynn Barnes must have plotted everything to make things work in this book. Um, I, I skimmed the, uh, the acknowledgements a bit. Uh, and apparently she'd plotted and planned book one and two. And then it was like, is there going to be a book three? But she had planned for it. So the way she must have plotted and planned everything. Oh my goodness. Because this book... Wow. Wow. This whole series so far has blown my mind and wow. I still really want to get to this house. I mean that doesn't exist but I want it to be real <laughs> because hello? Secret passages? So many things. Um, so this book ends. This book has an ending. So now I'm wondering what, like the book four, the book four, <laughs> book number four, uh, the Brothers Hawthorne, and I believe after that one, there's like a short story collection, and. I can't get hold of the short story collection, but I do have book four, The Haw the, the Brothers Hawthorne. Um, so I'm going to read that very, very shortly. Uh, but now I'm wondering what that's all about. What the plot of it is. What the story is. Honestly though, um, so far, yes, this is topping like favorite series kind of a deal this is up there this is so up there <laughs> he's so sleepy and oh yeah yeah i'm definitely gonna need to get this series um to my collection i mean can you get more adorable than that little boy Oh dear. <sighs> Dobbins. Anyway, I'll see you once I finish the Brothers Hawthorne and um we'll see what what's what's happening here because honestly, wow. That's really all I can say, because whatever I say about this book, like what happens in this book, it's going to be the biggest spoiler ever. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because it's just, it's exceptional. That's what it is. It's exceptional. Honestly, these laminated books. <sighs> Why? Why? This is not great for the filming, dear library. <laughs> I mean, I get why they laminate the books because it makes the books, well, not break after one read. But um, yeah, this. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so this is book four in the Inheritance Games series. Um, so book one, two, and three, they are like the perfect trilogy. Um, 
<laughs> I, I love how I said that, like, it's the best series ever written. I'm not sure it's the best series ever written, but it's very good. Anyway, it's like the perfect trilogy, and it ends. End of. Uh, and then we have Big Four, which just kind of um arrives out of nowhere uh yeah so in the first three books we follow avery we're well we've, we're following everyone but we see everything from avery's point of view in this one we get like dual perspective of uh jameson and grayson so both of them are off on their own little i want to say mission but it's a game it's really a game well mission slash game i suppose it's a bit of both. So I wouldn't say it's strictly necessary for like the Inheritance Games trilogy. I want to call them that because this is like its own thing. It's definitely its own thing. You need to have read the trilogy to understand this book, but it doesn't give a conclusion and like an extra conclusion to the trilogy. Um, it does end in the final gambit. Like, yeah. Um, so this is just like an extra thing, but it does set up for what I guess is the new series. So um, I guess I I think I first saw it as like a book five or something for the Inheritance game, but uh, it does seem like they've put it off as like its own own series so what are they calling it see if i remember what it's called um the grandest game or something like that um i it kind of sets up like in the end of the final gambit a recess a bunch of things to make the grandest game basically um and in this one we get like not in the full book of it because Jameson is doing his own own kind of thing he's with Avery though but uh, he's off doing like from his dad's side of the family and Grayson is off doing things with his di dad's side of the family uh, or his family rather because they don't have the same dads yeah but in the end of the book you get that like behind the scenes thing of how the grandest game uh, is conceived I guess um, so it's like a little bit behind the scenes of the end of the final gambit but also not really um, I wouldn't say it's strictly necessary to read this book so far um, I guess it depends on what happens in the grandest games I don't know even which characters we are gonna see in that series I think Grayson because he seems to be like yeah and Avery supposedly needs to be involved in some way we'll see um, those are not books um, I don't even know if it's out but I'm not able to get it from my library so it's going to be a future thing. Also, this is the last book I'm reading in this vlog because the the next book, the last book, the what was it called again? The Games Untold, an Inheritance Games collection. So that is a book of lots of short stories. I don't know from the timeline like where the short stories end. Uh, if there's like in the middle of the books, uh, the series, or like before or after, or what they are, but yeah, they're that. That book is not available in the library, so I'm <laughs> I'm not reading it um, until I can buy it, I guess, because I'm definitely gonna buy this series. Yes, I'm not sure I need this one yet, but I definitely need the first three. I suppose I'm gonna buy this and the short story collection as well at some point, because I'm definitely, definitely going to need to reread this series. Yes, I am. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> uh, I'll see you in a bit. I'll try to do a conclusion to this whole thing, so. In conclusion, 
I don't know. <laughs> In conclusion, I really liked this series. And I'm quite excited to pick up the grandest game. Um, whenever that will be, I don't know yet. Um, so we'll see. But I'm quite excited to continue on N not writing. Why was I gonna say writing? I'm quite excited to continue on reading well, anything Jennifer Lynn Barnes puts out, truthfully, um, whether it's the series or something else, I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of hooked by now. This series is so re-readable, bingeable. <sighs> I just bloody adore it. I just, I, yeah, yeah. So I definitely am going to need to pick up this series uh, to put into my own little collection because I am going to want to reread it. I, I just am. <laughs> I just, yeah, I kind of want to reread it now and I've just finished it. So thank you so much for watching and if you've made it this far, put a little chess piece emoji in the comments if you don't know what else to comment. Um, yeah. So thank you and I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.